What's up good people? You got Lavelle here, aka Vell, and welcome to my channel, The Evolution of Vell. Today, we are back with another video, and today I decided to bring back a very controversial reaction video that I did a few weeks ago, I think. I don't know, time flies, I don't know. I think it was a month ago or something like that. Anyway, Danielle Champion, who was Tim's fake assistant on the Welcome to Sweetie Pie series, has posted another video, and this video is about the time that her and Charles got married. This was my first time hearing about it when I saw her video, and I figured I had kind of a reaction to it, like, what? I don't remember this, and then I was like, well, do I kind of remember this being out there? But I don't, I don't think I really do. I just, it, and then Charles married? To a woman? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, let's get into her video. And the last video had a lot of comments of quite a few of you who were not feeling her because she was feeling herself a little too much with the twirling of the braids and all of that. And I, <laughs> I don't know, as a man, I was like, I wasn't paying that much attention. I mean, I was, but it wasn't irritating to me. But a lot of you were really bothered by that. However, I will tell you in this video, she does not play with her hair. I don't think she plays with her hair as much. I think she touches it though. <laughs> Maybe she has a texture thing. You know, some people like different textures. They want to touch things or they have, they have a nervous twitch. Maybe that's it. Let's not be so harsh, people. Anyway, let's get into the video. What's up? It's your girl, Champ. I am back with another fabulous video. Get the lip gloss on because you know I can't start without the lip gloss. Oh, she had to put on lip gloss. Mm. <laughs> Gotta have it popping. So anyway, today I'm going to do really quickly before I go out to eat for my birthday. Again, y'all know I like to celebrate with different people. Like, I really don't have one big birthday party. I like to celebrate with all of my friends individually. That way my birthday can last all month. I like so, to do that too. Anyways, let's get started. I'm going to do a quick sweetie pie, or I'm going to do a quick story time. And I want to tell you the story about when Charles and I got married. And I'm talking about Charles from Sweetie Pies. Uh, I, you guys have probably saw some of my other videos, but that's one of the only people I still talk to from Sweetie Pies, him, Bruce. And I've also forgot to mention in other videos that sometimes I still talk to Chef. But anyways, this story is about me and Charles. So, at first, me and Charles didn't get along super well, super great, just because it was like, ew, her you, the new girl. And some of you guys probably saw how I started on the show, like, that whole episode about me not letting Monique in the drawer to get some keys or whatever it was and then Janae flipping out thinking that like, oh my gosh, Tim has an assistant. So there was already like a little tension with me and Charles at the beginning, but when he moved to NoHo or when we all moved to Hollywood, came to LA or whatever, that is when Charles and I got really close. And although Charles and I have always been just friends one night um the show had us staying at the hollywood inn on lancashire and charles and i are both night out so we'd be up like super late um just chilling maybe have a little glass of wine we love to have some wine listen to our music and sing and just do our thing so one night I don't know if it was his idea or my idea or whose idea was, but we decided to get married on Facebook. Now, when we first did it, I didn't think it was like really that big of a deal because it's like, it's Facebook, okay? I think all of my Facebook years, I've been married so many times on Facebook and that doesn't even mean anything. Like I've married my homegirls. I've been married to my little boyfriends. Like it doesn't really mean anything. It's like, it's Facebook. Like, do you guys, comment below if you guys believe that things are not official until they're Facebook official. Personally, I don't believe that. I like, don't believe that. You could be Facebook official and, you know what I'm saying, somebody could be cheating on you. Like, you just never know. So, I just didn't take it that seriously. Like, I, married my, I was married to, like, one thing. of my homegirls for years. And, you know what I'm saying, like, I had a whole boyfriend. So, yeah. People just, I don't know. I guess as you get older... Maybe it's more serious, like now if I were to marry someone on Facebook, people would be like, oh my gosh, congratulations, you know? And like, I would understand why they're taking it serious. But back then, 
I don't know, I guess I just couldn't like, I couldn't understand why people would take it serious. So whatever, it's like one super late night. We were in the hotel lobby of the Holiday Inn, just had some glasses of wine or whatever. And we're like, let's get married. Let's just get married on Facebook. Like, I love you, Bay. By the way, he has a nickname for me, it's Bay, and I have a nickname for him, it's Bay. That means before anybody else. But it's just in a friendship way. Like, me and Charles have never been romantic. It's always just been like fun and of course friendly. Not. So anyways, right. we got married on Facebook. We hung out for a couple more hours, like whatever, did our thing, and went to sleep. That is when all of the drama started. The next morning, I woke up to like 32 missed calls from my friends, from my mom. <sighs> Hi, Fancy. From basically like everybody, just calling me like, oh my God, like, why are we getting phone calls um, from the news? Why are we getting phone calls from this and that? And Charles woke up to the same thing. Like his mom was mad at him. Um, Tim called him. Tim was mad and everyone was like, you guys gotta take that down. You know what I'm saying? Like you guys are throwing false information out there and like we're looking like, yo, we were just having fun. It really was not that serious. Like it was just a little, it wasn't uh -oh. even a prank. It was just like, it was here. just for fun. Like we intended on leaving up there. We just didn't intend on people to really think that we were actually married. Anywho, and we had to actually issue an apology because you know we don't want to mislead people from things that weren't really happening on the show. We don't, you know what I'm saying? So whatever. We had to issue an apology and we both put a video up on our Facebooks saying like, yo, you know what, we are sorry. We are not actually together. Like we didn't maybe make you guys think that. It was just for fun. Like that's the thing people don't understand. Being on reality shows and like being in the spotlight in general, you, you can't necessarily live a normal life because everybody takes everything so serious. Everybody reads way farther into things than they need to be. And it's just a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot of eyes. It's a lot mm -hmm. to live up to. It's a lot of eyes on you at all times. So whatever, we issued the apology, but I actually have the apology video from the next morning or like maybe like afternoon. I don't know when it was, but it was the next day when we issued the apology video and we divorced on Facebook. Divorced. So, this is the video, I'm about to play it for you now. Hey guys, it's Danielle. And Charles. We just wanna say that we are truly sorry. So, so sorry. For making you guys think that we're in a relationship. We really are not. We're, no, it was just for it, Facebook. It was just for Facebook because on a whim we decided it was a good idea um i've been being in a relationship with random friends since like high school and middle school so like we didn't realize how many people would see it but we, we didn't realize that it would make such a big impact really we had no idea None. but we do want to everyone who saw it and who congratulated us and gave us good wishes we just want you to know that we love you guys we truly do yeah i definitely felt loved really we had no idea that you guys cared that much so thank you and we just want to say that we're sorry if we let anybody down and also that we are really great friends with sweetie pies charles crunchall here happens to be my favorite person in the world there yeah, Daniel, you're one of my close associates too friends friends too <laughs> but we do want to let you know that we do have a lot of good stuff coming this season it's going to be a real kicker i think everyone's going to enjoy it definitely a lot of drama in the house most definitely and a lot I don't of drama get into it all. <laughs> took us four years to find out about it but... <laughs> anyways thanks for all the good wishes we love you guys and at the end of the day remember guys facebook is not life and if it is not oh. facebook official it can still be official but it's not official it doesn't make sense it makes sense Charles. right we love you love you guys thanks for all the support and stay tuned Stay tuned to what? It's a video. Hope y'all like that little video. I think it's always fun to go back and rewatch little things of me and Charles. And we have so many just funny videos. I even have one of us singing that's really funny. I'll put that at the end of this video. It's just like, a, like an eight second clip of us singing Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid. But anyway, so that's the video. I love watching the old videos of us because I miss him. Hope he's doing well, you guys, in St. Louis. Pray for him. Anyway, so we were actually never married. We just, I guess, pranked everybody. But it wasn't even a prank. It wasn't meant to be a prank. It was just meant to be funny for us. And then we forgot that there are so many prying eyes. 
So anyway, that was my quick story time. Uh, I'm gonna put Charles at the YouTube. I don't know, I think he's gonna start putting videos. I've been trying to get him to start putting videos. So hopefully he will start putting videos up soon. I don't know. Go subscribe to his channel, leave a comment below. If you guys think it's that serious, like when you get married on Facebook or if you even, like, is it, a, is it not official so it's Facebook official? I don't know, let me know in the comments below. And now I'm gonna play the little singing video of us and then I'm going to, yeah, Go to that's the end of this video. So, yeah. see y'all next time. Out where they run, out where they stay all day in the sun. Was that Charles singing? <laughs> uh, pause. <laughs> Was that Charles singing or, or Danielle? It sounded like Danielle. Anyway, um, yeah, this is, um, um, I know some of you will be like, that was silly. <laughs> um, I agree. <laughs> I, I think that's more of a like teenage kind of thing. Hold on, these things. I almost I can't hear myself the same way. I don't know. I think this was that's more of like a teenage kind of thing. I'm I'm a part of Generation X, so like, you know, I didn't grow up with the internet being a part of my teen years or my adolescent at all. I was an adult by the time internet came out. So I don't take it as serious and I don't know the whole Facebook relationship thing I've never been into that at all even whether I'm in a relationship or not I don't feel like I need to post it and and label myself on social media so yeah I don't connect with that part or identify with it or really get it at all but they were playing I guess the, I guess the thing for me is the fact that they back then, well, they're still public figures today, but they were definitely more active and trending public figures back then. So I could see how, you know, the show would force them to apologize and that whole thing. So yeah, I just wanted to share little snippets from Danielle's explanation of when her and Charles got married and <laughs> what it was. So yeah, if you made it to this point in the video, comment below, you don't have to post it to prove it. Yes, because I think nowadays people get confused with social media and they really give it too much power over their lives. So yeah, you don't have to post it to prove it. Just live your life. Who cares about what strangers think about it or what their opinion is? You don't have to post it to prove it. Just let it be. Anyway, if you are new to this channel and you didn't subscribe in the beginning when I had the little logo thing going, you know, going by, this would be a great time for you to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you'll be aware of when I post new videos, weekly of course, and then those ones sprinkled in. Also, if you are a part of the EOV subscriber family, you're a part of the notification game and the comment below game and our text community, I thank you guys, I appreciate you. And remember to show that extra layer of support by clicking that like button below so that you can continue to help our channel grow and build our EOV subscriber family. So with that, till next time, till I upload the next video, whatever that will be, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I got a list, I gotta get around to it. But till next time, remember to love, grow, and share. Peace.